Hey guys, so let me uh, let me drop a quick video here. We woke up to terrible news this morning. If you're like me and you, and you live in this part of the world, uh, you were probably still sleeping when news when the terrible news broke. You know, um, we woke up to uh, messages and articles, and uh, I myself uh, had received numerous messages. That was the first thing that greeted me countless messages from different people, from friends and from supporters of the channel, sharing articles, uh, sharing the news that Kobe Bryant had passed. And uh, at first, I didn't believe it. You know, Kobe Bryant is larger than life. And it's it's just impossible for someone that big, you know what I mean, to, to die in such a horrible manner. Uh, but I quickly realized that the amount of messages just makes it real. Right, and uh, I've received messages from uh, people I trust, people I know, smart people, uh, who wouldn't share uh, news irresponsibly. So I quickly realized this must be true. Uh, I read a few articles, read a few messages, turned on the TV, went to CNN, and there was Kobe's face, and it was real. Um, so he had died um, with his daughter Gigi, 13 year old. Uh, Gigi or Gigi, Guyana, uh, they were on their way to uh, the basketball game, basketball camp. Uh, horrific accident, and uh, it's it's a it's a tragedy because uh, Kobe means so much to me and to many of us who are sports fans, who are Kobe fans, who are sneaker fans, and uh, it's uh, uh, I never realized how how big an impact Kobe had. Uh, in my life, uh, you know, you, I'm a LeBron James fan, as you know, and uh, Kobe is, uh, Kobe was always in my face, right? Um, LeBron haters uh, would often put Kobe um, ahead of LeBron, and there's always that debate, it's, it's always fun, always in the name of good, clean fun, there's always that debate about Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron, and uh, I always get Kobe, because I'm a LeBron fan, and uh, it's, uh, I'm alright, you know, but I'm, I'm speaking to you with a heavy heart, because um, I got Kobe stuff, I admire Kobe, and um, the Philippines being a huge basketball country, you know, Kobe's been here a few times. I don't know how many times, but he, he's certainly been here a few times and he's touched so many. And um, I'd go through my Facebook feed and see uh, tribute posts from my friends who are vocal Kobe fans. And it uh, it's it's moving. It's it's such a powerful thing. Kobe's passing. It's, it's galvanizing. It's um, it, it unites people in a way, I guess. Um, and in the world of sneakers, um, significant impact. Kobe was, uh, he ushered in the, the era of low-top basketball sneakers. He started with a Kobe 4. Um, he's also one of the uh, signature athletes that put pop culture, put his love for pop culture and incorporate that in a sneaker. I could give you a few examples uh, with the Kobe 5s. Uh, he put Bruce Lee in, in the Kobe 5. There's a, there's the Batmans, the Batmen. <laughs> in the Kobe file. Oh, they were called the Dark Knights, sorry. Um, so, huge impact. You can't not talk sneakers and not have Kobe. Heck, you can't not talk sports and not have Kobe. There's a few lessons we can learn from Kobe's passing, from, from Kobe's life in general. Um, if, you've, uh, if you've gone through your feed, you probably follow a few famous people and a few celebrities and they've given their tributes to Kobe. And some of them would end their posts by saying, hug someone you love today, cherish your loved ones. And that's true. That's, those are powerful words, right? Uh, your life can change instantly, you know, in a snap of a finger from one second to the next. Your life can change with the loss of a loved one. And it's, uh, you, you don't have to wait to tell the people that you love that you love them, all right? And uh, I can go on and on about how we can emulate Kobe, his, his work ethic, and everything else. But um, the most important thing, I guess, is to show the people that you love that you love them, all right? We're not going to make this video long. You know, it's a tribute video, and uh, who am I, right, to 
to be doing this video. I'm just a fan. I'm just a, I'm just a sneaker guy. But uh, it's my little way of showing my respect, love to Kobe, someone who's been an inspiration and someone who's shaped sneaker culture into what it is today. So um, I'm ending the video. Um, what's your favorite Kobe moment, I guess? Uh, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Uh, just hit me up in the comments. Hope you all have a good day.